Go have a rest. Clean myself in weeks. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Combe? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. Damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, 
Imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us, then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live, free. Combs a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. Whoa! We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I ah. said easy. Yeah! Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you strangers, yup? And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, 
It'd be that mean son of a bitch. <clears throat> yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Shh. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. <gasps> Don't move. He's oh, down. Dear. Don't you damn move. The next two. What's the plan? Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what the knife's for. When we're there, we move at the same time. Hurry up already. You looking to die today? Good work. Moving on the camp? I left our guide up there. His peak is a little lame. He better be. Sure thing. Thank you. Uh, Como Driscoll. He ain't here. 
You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> and right you are. At least you got something tucked away.
think the boys around here. Yeah, tough. They're good boys, most of them. It's the most thing I'm scared about. Huh? Don't be. We'll be fine. One of us now. You okay? Sure. Why are you walking around so sad? I'm not sad, just bored. You're bored? Bored's good. Bored means you ain't scared. Be grateful for being bored, lady. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. She goes without saying. Oh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. That's exactly what I've been looking for. God damn it. 
English? Uh, Speak me, English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nye, nye. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold! Dollars! Nie rób tego! I have nothing! Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. You must have come here with some. Good? Not good yet. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay. That should about cover things. Those are brawish you primitive each pledge. Yes, yes, them is ruin of honor. It's ruin of honor. What you got behind there? So, uh, surprise, I don't understand. Move aside. What do we have here? My old bronzka, yeah. Just keep quiet. Okay. I 
four. You chick? I was told I could find a Chick Matthews up here. Chick Matthews? Mm, you might want to talk to that fella over there. Now nah, I'm just here to work for the season. You Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Help! Last chance to save your hide! Stop! Place to bargain, boy. Just untie me, I'll tell you. <sighs> Goddamn treasure hunt. You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. You got the map. Do the decent thing. I knew I shouldn't have borrowed.
Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got! I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder! Son of a bitch! Money, you know leave me thieves? alone. Law here about this. I didn't steal that, it's a debt. Oh, damn it. What do you want? I've got nothing to say to you. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. How you doing? Oh, I've been better. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, hey, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know.
Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you need to be beaten. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Pay the money. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> Then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. 
You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Officer! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Okay, boy. Let's go. I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worried too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. How you doing, friend? Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big job. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You're getting none from me. 
I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Oh, sorry. You know where we went? You all right there, Slugger? Think your friend went upstairs. Lenny, where are you? Lenny? What are you doing, Cat? Hello? <laughs> Why ain't you never married? That's the thing, you see, because it. Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Yeah. That ain't Whoa. slippery little oh, shit, ain't you? Oh, oh, come on! Shut your mouth, mister.
jumping off on me! Just go home, will you? Again. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. Uh. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. 
but I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room